Hello everyone, Ten Best Ones here, and in today's video, we are going to review the top 5 best gaming keyboards in 2017. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to choose some of the not so well known keyboards but that have some great features to offer. If you want to see the price and more information about these keyboards, check out the links in the description and the comment section below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. To start off our list, at number 5 we have the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2. The Black Widow Chroma V2 is a full-size RGB backlit keyboard, but while it's quite large, the spacing between keys is slightly less generous than some rivals. Nevertheless, the Black Widow is very well built, with a solid plastic shell that feels indestructible. There aren't any tra traces of the flex in the body. The matte black finish is pretty minimalist, with a subtle illuminated logo on the front of the keyboard. This will be covered if you opt to use the included leather-like wrist rest, which attaches magnetically to the front of the keyboard and the rest feels great in use. The wrist rest is comfortable, reasonably sized and magnetic so it's easy to attach and detach, depending on your desk size and preferences. All criticism aside, about how this is arguably the only real innovation on the keyboard, the wrist rest is a fantastic addition. The Black Widow can be fitted with green, orange or yellow switches, with the characteristic varying by color. Pure typists might prefer the clicky nature of the green switch, while hardcore gamers might want to opt for the linear yellow switch. The orange and yellow switches are also branded as silent, since they make significantly less noise than the clicky switches. The RGB lighting under each key is bright and vibrant, with a number of effects to choose from. It looks pretty cool, and if you've never used the RGB keyboard before, then you'll be pleased. Like almost every other Razer peripheral, the Black Widow Chroma V2 runs on the Razer Synapse 2.0 software. By now, you know the drill. It's clean, intuitive, easy to use and helps all your Razer products run in sync. You can set up profiles for individual games, control the lightning or reprogram the macro keys. Everything works as it's supposed to. A dedicated gaming mode also disables the Windows key, a great feature for anyone that's lost a match merely by jumping out of the game with a straight Windows key press. It's worth noting that all functions work just as well with Apple's macOS machines too. Razer Black Widow keyboards have always been reliable and durable when it comes to in-game performance, and the V2 performs just as well as the systems came before it. Next up, at number 4, we have the Corsair K70. The Corsair K70 is one of the most desirable gaming keyboards currently available thanks to its stylish burst aluminum construction. It's also fully equipped with mechanical switches for speedy typing and greater longevity. And it's fully backlit too. Soft touch black plastic keys finish off the all black look while red back lighting adds a bit of gaming flair, as well as the practical advantage of being able to see your keys in the dark. The contrast of the red and black looks great. A matching black wrist is included, it clips onto the front and provides a little extra support for your hands and it does a nice soft touch finish. Now let's talk about the features. This keyboard's primary feature is simply that it uses mechanical keys which is for longer life and a more precise key action. Specifically, it uses Cherry MX switches and you can choose from either red, brown or blue versions. The red have a fairly light linear action, the brown has a bump when the switch is activated, while the blue have tactile action with an audible click. In between the latter two sets of buttons are three tiny white LEDs to indicate the status of the standard lock keys. The keys are 100% anti-ghosting with full key rollover so there should be no issues with complicated multiple key presses failing to register. There's also a USB pass-through function, via the use of an extra plug on the thick braided 1.5 meter cable and a socket on the back of the keyboard, which is great for providing easy access to for a USB stick. The Corsair K70 performs as excellently as you can expect. The cherry red keys are incredibly responsive, allowing for fast, accurate typing, while the soft touch surface of the keys provides a good grip. The letter will probably polish off as it does with most keyboards, but at least to begin with it's a better surface than most. At the heart of the Corsair K70 RGB is the company's Corsair Utility Engine software. Free to download and use, the tool provides, provides all the customization aspects including the lighting system, creating macros, assigning commands to specific keys and more. Should you buy it? Yes. If you are a game fanatic and enjoys the pleasure of having a mechanical keyboard for maximum pleasure without listening any sound that comes from a keyboard, the keyboard is attractive, the keys are responsive and the switches will last forever, making this a peripheral a great buy. At number 3 we have the Cooler Master Stormcook Fart TK. 
CM Storm's quick fire range of mechanical keyboards has gained much attention and praise from enthusiasts and gamers alike. For those who desire a small form factor mechanical keyboard, CM Storm has released the gaming oriented quick fire TK. The keycaps are made out of ABS material and grip coated to enhance finger grip during typing and can be seen clearly with or without backlighting. The backlight is very bright, with three different modes to choose from, fully backlight, breathing and only the WASD keys, as the gamers most of the time choose the fully backlit mode. There are five different brightness levels, one being the dimmest and five being the brightest. The indicator LEDs are chill, so you will not have any eye pain and distraction during your gaming experience. Another characteristic is the user can change the key rollover value, that is, the maximum number of keys that can be pressed at, all, at once and still be recognized by the keyboard. It goes from 6 simultaneous keys to any number of keys. MMO players will enjoy this feature if they choose the Quickfire TK. It's also a very compact keyboard, as the removable of the cursor key saves you around 5 cm in width compared to a standard keyboard and up to around 10 cm compared to some oversized models. You're left with more desk space, it's easier to move out of the way and it brings your keeper closer to your mouse which puts less strain on your wrists and serious gamers know that's a big issue. Gaming with the Quickfire TK is a very enjoyable experience that will help you improve the level of your performance. Well thought out key positioning and spacing allows gamers to hit specific input with a reduced chance of pressing the wrong button. Another thing this keyboard has is the Windows Lock key which is a valuable addition that prevents the start menu from loading unintentionally hence eliminating the possibility of a user inflicted inconvenience. The Cooler Master Storm Quickfire TK is an excellent example of mechanical keyboard made for the gaming population. It can be uh, purchased with three different Cherry MX switches, red, blue or brown, with each having their own characteristics. Moving on, at number 2 we have the Philco Major Stash 2. The Philco Major Stash 2 might not be as popular as the Razer Black Widow Chroma or the Corsair K K70, but it has a lot of things to offer and a lot of different looks, sizes, switches and styles which you can choose from to fit with the rest of your gaming setup. The ease of this keyboard is out of this world. Typing on this keyboard is a blast and as is it is extremely good quality and every key reacts and handles with superb precision. The version without the keypad, aka the major start key 10 key less, offers a space saving benefits for users who don't input numbers often, since it requires less distance from a controlling hand to travel between the mouse and the keyboard. Philco caters to, to typists who value customization in their keyboards, so it also offers Cherry MX Blacks and Cherry MX Brown switches. The colors represent the various stages of switch tactility, so the brown feels slightly less clicky to touch and is more suitable for enclosed offices where noise is an issue, whereas the blacks require a little more pressure to engage the mechanism below. The sound and the feel require a little getting used to, but users who successfully make the switch to mechanical keyboards aren't typically eager to return to the sl sludgy feel of modern cheap keyboards. To finish off our list, at number 1 we have Desk Keyboard. The Desk Keyboard has become famous with quality in the keyboard's world. It has a matte black aluminium which provides more durability than plastic can afford, and the build quality here is outrageously high. To satisfy audiences in both gaming and typing fields, the Desk Keyboard 4 Professional is being offered with Cherry MX Blue or Cherry MX Brown switches. The clicky Cherry MX Blues provide a luxury of typing experience with their 60 grams activation force and a pronounced tactical bump. The Quiet Cherry MX Browns offer a great feedback but are also lighter and more responsive to give gamers the fast action they need. The keyboard comes with two USB 3.0 ports baked into it, located on the rear right edge of the keyboard instead of the side. It's a smart design decision, allowing you to keep your mouse or trackpad next to your keyboard while the ports are in use. Media controls include buttons to play, rewind and fast forward as well as mute button and another to put the computer in sleep. Tiny blue LEDs indicate the status of the num lock, scroll lock and caps lock functions. The lights are bright, but they are positioned to project the beam straight up, or in author's words, they won't blind you. It doesn't require a driver, and in a world of downloadable programs, it's nice to have a keyboard that doesn't have stored memory profiles and endlessly customizable keys. As a plus, a new feature on the Desk 4 Pro is the nice addition of the volume rocker. There isn't something more satisfying using a volume toner. You can literally approach the keyboard from anywhere and quickly adjust the volume without having to find the tiny volume buttons, like on the other keyboards. It's solid in every sense of the word. For word processing, internet surfing and general use, it's the bro to be. 
gamers, at least those in search of macros, are best served looking somewhere else. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, you can find links to all these gaming keyboards down in the description and the comment section below, so if you wanna find out the price and more information about them, go check out the links there. Also, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching, I'll see you in the next video.